Welcome back. The Little River Band of Ottawa Indians says Governor Whitner plans to, plans to ask for more time to make a decision about a proposed casino project in Muskegon County. A member of that tribe broke the news in an interview with Fox 17's Marisa Oberly. She explains the delay's impact. I see it. Ogama Larry Romanelli envisions what others may not when he looks at this field along Ellis Road in Fruitport Township. I see the action. I see the people coming in and going out. I see a bright light and something that attracts people. From. Romanelli's tribe, the Little River Band of Ottawa Indians, wants to build a $180 million casino and 220 room hotel on the 60 acre site. It's a project first proposed 12 years ago, and while Little River hoped to know this month whether they could build, it will likely be a few more before that decision comes. By all accounts, it looks like that's probably the way we're going. On Thursday, Romanelli revealed to Fox 17 that in recent weeks, Governor Gretchen Whitmer told the tribe that she intends to request a six-month extension for the proposed project, which needs her approval. When the U.S. Department of Interior signed off on it last December, it went to Whitmer, who received 12 months to decide, and until now made no known stance. Without the okay, it's dead. I, in some ways, don't feel it's fair that we've had to wait 12 years. And I'm not blaming the Department of Interior or the uh, governor. I'm just saying 12 years for something that we know we had the right to do. We're in the right location. They can say whatever they want to. We're, we were supposed to be here. We, this could have been done in a shorter amount of time. Romanelli says in their conversation, the governor listed ongoing statewide issues like the pandemic and opposition from some other tribes and casino operators in her explanation why. No reasons to worry, though, he believes. So you think eventually there will be a casino over there? I do. I absolutely do. Yeah. Romanelli explains the proposed project would create a year-round tourist destination, add tens of millions of dollars with thousands of jobs to the region's economy, and allow the tribe to expand critical services like education and health care to the 42 percent of members who live in Muskegon, an opportunity hard not to see. You know, I, I guess I take it with a grain of salt. After 12 years, you kind of learn patience and um, we just roll with the flow. So Fox 17 reached out to the governor's office, but they have yet to hear back. Romanelli says if approved, the casino would open within two years of breaking ground.